people pleasing. This is a problem that I've been thinking a lot about lately because that's such a normal thing and, and I've started to realize how much I am a people pleaser. And the craziest thing is that a few years ago, I didn't even realize it that I put my own needs just behind to to be with other people or to kind of please other people do stuff because I think I need to do them because that's just how I'm used to being and this is why self-awareness is so important and once you start kind of creating those boundaries and being like no this this thing belongs to me and and this energy belongs to me that's when you usually get into some kind of conflicts and and people don't like that you are drawing your own boundaries and i i guess this is a pretty global thing at the moment because i've heard a lot of stories where people kind of take back their power and they're like starting to listening to their own inner self and and kind of being empowered and this is a super important thing to talk about in my opinion because especially if you have kids the way you treat yourself and the way you treat other people will transfer automatically to your kids because they're essentially observers they soak in everything that they see and experience in the world so I've really tried to go in into myself and be like okay what are my values what are my core principles of, of acting and how do I serve others and I think it's really important to serve others. It's not about that. It's not about being this egoistical being who wants just to get, get, get. It's more about filling your own cup first. And once you've done that, once you are strong, then you can kind of serve a lot of other people. And it's the same thing when you go into the airplane and they say like, if there is a drop in the oxygen thing and, and you, you get this mask, you need to put it on yourself first and then on your child or other people. So people pleasing and uh, letting people stepping over your boundaries, that's a thing you should really consider making clear. And I know that boundaries, if you're not taught to create boundaries you might not know and and this is the first step you need to start testing out okay what if I draw the boundary here okay who says something against it and okay what if the next day you have some other idea okay what if I draw the boundaries here I don't want to do this because I don't feel that good after or or something like that so people pleasing I think people and the world would feel and and they would be much better and healthier if everyone drew their boundaries first and then we started to interact with each other because then we are all empowered and we can all kind of be these confident beings who know what they stand for and um, what their mission on this planet is my suggestion for you is to start thinking about your boundaries every day and you could even journal this and every day you think about one boundary and one thing that you've been pleasing others and and how you can kind of take back control to yourself but in the contrary you can also be like okay now when I've drawn this boundary can I help someone else can I give something back? Because that's essentially what it's about to also give back to the people, to give back to the community if you want, not because of obligation, but because you want. You want to take care of your grandma. You want to do something 
but not from obligation. You see the difference here? So this was a quick video uh, to keep up my strike and to share my ideas with the world. Okay, see you in the next one. My name is Mitz, like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, stay cool.